Hi there, I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media. I'm here today with Praveen Goyal, who is the Director of Information Security and Compliance Engineering at Cavern. Praveen, thank you for being here today. Thanks. So CIS benchmarks, what are they and why are they important? Sure. CIS, Center for Internet Security, CIS benchmarks provide well-defined, unbiased, and consensus-based industry best practices to help organizations assess and improve their security. Right, because, this, because of the reputation, these benchmarks are recommended as industry accepted system hardening procedures and are used by organizations in meeting various compliance requirements such as PCI and HIPAA. So how are these benchmarks created and what does it take to actually get one into production? Okay, so each benchmark is created using a consensus review process. Uh, during the initial benchmark development phase, subject matter experts convene to discuss, create, and test working drafts of the benchmark. After the benchmark is published, the second phase of the consensus review process begins. We incorporate all the feedback provided by internet community in the future versions of the benchmark. And who else is providing security benchmarks? for the sorts of standards? I would say none. CIS is having the broadest set of benchmarks covering both software and hardware. They have everything from database, applications, operating systems, mobile operating systems. The only other agency which provides a subset of the benchmark is DSA. Apart from that, there are a few vendors which provide security documentation in benchmark format. For example, VMware provides VMware vSphere hardening guide to secure vSphere deployments. And what challenges led you to initiate um, the CIS Docker project in 2015? Yeah, way back in 2015, uh, Docker was just scratching the surface and DevOps was getting disrupted. And uh, that time, Gartner did a study and came out uh, saying that Docker security is immature. I read that paper and tried to do something about it. When I searched the internet, I found that there were broken advices, untested evidences, and biased facts. So I was long time associated with CIS. And what I thought was that, okay, let me sound this idea with CIS and see how, how they feel about it. So we started a project and uh, it was really our passion, our thought leadership that uh, led to uh, authoring this benchmark. And what's the status of the project and how have you taken a leadership role as a company? Yeah, so as a company, what we have done is that we have been maintaining this benchmark from last two years, right? So initially, we thought that we will have one benchmark every year, but pace of innovation is really high at Docker. So then we decided that, okay, we will have a benchmark for each of the Docker version, right? So we have a Docker benchmark for Docker 1.6, 1.11, 12, 13, and the next benchmark will be due in May, June, uh, when Docker 1.14 is out. Excellent. Praveen, thank you very much for being here today. Thanks.